ahead of their most momentous election in decades. If Zimbabweans were looking for divine guidance, they got another kind of intervention. At the centre of attention, Robert Mugabe. Physically frail, but as sharp as the knife, he plunged into those who removed him from power. I must say very clearly, I cannot vote for those who have tormented me. No, I can't. We've been invited to his famous Blue Roof Mansion. With his wife, Grace, he's a virtual recluse here. Mugabe called his successor, Emerson Manangagwa, carried to power by the military, malicious. But now it's the gun directing politics. No. No. I say no, no, no. Let tomorrow decide. Then he endorsed the opposition MDC, a party he spent years persecuting. In the past under your leadership, many, many Zimbabweans have died in political violence. Whoever wins tomorrow, isn't there at least a chance for a fresh and a better start for this nation? So you think my, my, during my period, things went to ruin. I don't see where Oh, we have heard. Mr. Manangagwa, known by friends and foe as the crocodile, is ahead in the polls. While for the first time in 40 years, Mugabe isn't a name on the ballot paper. It's hard to say how much impact the old man's intervention from this position of enforced retirement will have, but he has done his best to spear the crocodile. Mugabe's revenge, a dish best served on election eve. John Ray, ITV News, Harare.